uh, and some people gathered information. I don't know from where they told me. But that's the greatest boy. It's in his right spot by the ball. And then I'm like, wait, you just went into Eric's? Yeah, I don't understand that voice. That was Eric's voice. Come here. Come see your cousin. Come. So it was, uh, in the, so it was in the other class in the same grade. Okay, yeah. And I'm like, who cares? It's in the other class. And like all my friends are just like, <laughs> So mine? <laughs> she has Swanna. Makes more sense when you talk about your mom versus Eric. Hannah, high five for common sense. High five for common sense. So Hannah, when our Bapcha, when Eric's grandma was Chachadella, her sister is my grandma. And when she lived in Poland, when they had a lice outbreak, all the kids would get a lice check every night. And my mom told me that just for no reason, once a week, grandma, after bath, because they would take a bath like once or twice a week, after bath, everybody got a lice check every night. And it was just part of our everyday routine. We had to have a lice check. And I so the bath only one I, I I do horseback riding and well I didn't know about this at first and then Agnes uh Ines No Agnes her name Oh Agnes who's also Ines okay yeah yeah because that's okay, Agnes, Agnes in Polish Um She she started checking my hair and I'm like what are you doing? And she's like oh <laughs> Your mom got an email this morning that said, that said there's someone in the school with lice. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, you should have said, you should have said, well, you could have asked me. That's a little <laughs> So, true story. And you need to override your mom. <laughs> so, true story. Alec was in fourth grade or fifth grade and it was our first year at Burr. And the letter came home that out that lice was in his class, and I really wasn't into checking at the time. Like I didn't start until that year, and um, I looked through his hair, and there were all adult lice in his hair, and they were freaking huge. And I actually took a couple and kept them and put them in a bug box. <laughs> of course you did. Oh, <laughs> And we have a couple lice in our collection, don't we? We have a couple eggs, and we have a couple okay, lice. Huh? Oh yeah, God. they... I think everybody grows up with that. Yeah. yeah. They, they, matured? they matured. So in order, he not only had eggs and larvae, he also had full-grown lice. So he had it. So every time I saw him doing this, it, there was a reason. <laughs> And I didn't know. It was my first time parenting and realizing. And then I gave William a hard time because we were at Burr that year. It was our first year at Burr and he was the principal. And I'm like, five years of school. We never had lice until we come to your school and now we get lice. <laughs> I totally want to pull that one. I totally want to pull that one. Also, you should have known. Like, being a principal, how do you not know? Like, and I'm like, how did you not tell me to check for this shit? How did you not? I don't know. I'm like, get the fuck out. Get the blank out of here. They teach you that stuff. No, no. And as your mom does talk that way. Oh, she knows. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at her face. Are you are you undoing your braids so we can have pigtails? No. No? I thought we were matching. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Whatever. We're under perms tomorrow, Mom. Hannah, you want to get a perm? You want to do pigtails tomorrow and match me? I'm oh, super Hannah. fun. Yeah. Hannah doesn't even brush her hair. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah has, like, why don't you brush your hair? Perfect, she's got the perfect summer style. I told Inez when she was in preschool she couldn't grow her hair unless she brushed it. And now you notice that she does brush her own hair because she has hair. I cut it all the time until she learned to take care of it herself. And then oh, so Daddy would like brush my hair like, I would be like, ow! And Daddy and would brush would your like, hair. Hannah, this, Hannah, this, why don't you brush your hair? Hannah, why don't you brush your hair? Because she's the best. Yeah, because she wants to be like her dad. But I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm lazy on the weekends. I don't brush my hair. I just don't like doing it. She tells me it hurts. Why? It does. It hurts. No. We buy, what's the no. spray? Fairy, fairy tail spray? We put a hairspray in place. Like it's not.
Oh, I just wet the brush. I like getting my hair cut and I don't because when we go to our hair cutting place, they always have to brush my hair and I hate people, other people brushing my hair for some reason. Oh my God! Oh, oh, it's it's the exactly. 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 We agree. I hate it. We agree. And Auntie Dorothy, I wanted to braid her hair so bad as a kid when we were teenagers. And, Dor and Dorothy could not stand anybody touching her hair. Hannah, you're not the only one. And that's why Inez's dad used to like to brush her hair. He no, didn't like playing no. with dolls, but he wanted to brush Inez's hair. <laughs> Big dolls? Like inflatable dolls? Yeah. Maybe. 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 And, and I would scream. And Inez would scream and say, stop, stop. And I'd have to come in here and make him stop brushing her hair. And then we bought a spray. And then Inez would brush her own hair. I know what I should have And her done. dad got to spray it, right? Mm. But she had to brush her hair every night. Now I don't let him touch my hair. He doesn't touch her hair now. No, now I force him not to. Never let your mom brush your hair when she's mad at your dad. <laughs> Every day, every day. Yes. That's so true. So, this is a true story. What, so, every year, my school has a Christmas show where it always has a theme. And this year, I was in choir. And before, right before I got there, when no. there was this what? huge black rodent. Oh, okay. What? A cockroach? A cockroach? Oh, sorry. So, there was this little tiny animated that had a cloth over it. So, if anything went under there, you couldn't see it. So, before, right before I came in, there was a, a big black mouse that ran under it. And when I came in, everyone was like, ah, And I'm like, what happened? And they're like, there's a mouse. What's the hair? Oh was gosh. it big? Why would we be so afraid of a teeny tiny mouse? They're like No, it was big. They're oh, this God. they're oh, this God. big. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, I was a rabbit. I was a rabbit. So Hannah, Hannah, when we yeah. lived out when we lived out in Marengo, we lived out in the field, there was a lot of mice. A lot of mice. We would get so many mice. Well, one time we came home and our cat killed one of the mice in the house. It was in the middle of the hallway and it was dead. Hi! Hi! Hi. They were hungry. Yeah. I remember I lived at Uncle Chris's house before children, and I first moved into my uncle's house, and he went out of town, and it was in the winter, and I was sleeping upstairs, and his bedroom was upstairs, so maybe I wasn't living there yet. I think I was just house-sitting, and he had a cat and a dog, Nico, a golden retriever, and um, my mom called him Sylvester. His name was not Sylvester, but he had a cat. So that's a cool cat name. Yeah, that's a cool cat name. So, long story short, the heater goes out because the furnace would always break. And then later we bought that house. And yes, the furnace would still always break. So I cuddled up upstairs under the duvet cover with the dog and the cat. And I woke up in the morning and on my pillow was a gift from the cat. He brought me a fucking mouse. They do that, yeah. And it and it was on the pillow. The cat brought me a mouse. <laughs> he really loved you. And I was like freaking out. I was 20. I was screaming my head off. This is before my insect years. So I was very freaking out. Your insect years. My insect years, not yours. <laughs> She's talking back to me. Oh, dear. Where's the, where's the so anyway, 
That's my only mouse story. Oh, rat story? Oh, rat! We're moving up in the world. I have a raccoon story. Ew. I'm just, oh yeah, so do I. In West Loop at a restaurant. Across from Greek Islands. The rest of the Greek islands and the West Loop, and we're sitting there having cocktails, and all of a sudden, we hear a screen in the corner, screen, jump up on the, like, the side, and it's like, and, like, staff is running to the kitchen, and we start banging on the side, and we're like, oh my god, okay, my F-bombs, okay, what happened? Okay, everybody gets down, and we're like, oh, there was a rat. Uh, a rat was in the restaurant and a fucking rat was running around and then I think to their Did you not pay for your bill? Did you skip out on your bill? No. I would have not paid my bill. No, 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 it wasn't it didn't impact us. We're just sort of Chicago has rat. No. Chicago's full. Sorry. It doesn't matter. Mm. But we're at, we're like, But they're only this big. <laughs> Oh, no, are, rats are bigger. Are it was a joke. Yeah, you guys were really <laughs> out of your seats, right? We were like, no, we're good.